You're right, guys. So uh, this is a final consideration for the module. Uh, this is where we can, you know, recap on a few things and uh, share a few other ideas we have on, you know, we can, you know, be a little bit more abstract and, and, and bring you around the idea of a few other things. Um, for me, Felipe, I wanted to, to make clear uh, to, to give you guys uh, the challenge to work out what spacing of the beds of the trees might work for you, right? We spoke here, we have many examples here of four meters between the beds of one tree to the beds of the next tree with, you know, with the veg in the middle. And we have next examples of six meters. And I want you guys really to understand this, that the more you spread, the more sunlight you get in. There's, a, there's other factor of how much area you want to cover, how much area do you have to work with, right? If you need to produce a lot of veg, you know, if you really your main market is, is the market and it's the veg, you know, you need to space it out a little bit more. You need to get more time. You need to be able to produce more, uh, more times, you know, the, the cycle more, of more veg. Cycles, yeah. right? But then you beware that, you know, the main, uh, production of, of the organic material comes from the trees so once you space that out you've got less material coming down to the ground uh, but then so you've got your pros and cons you know if you're working with like a cow system and you've got many 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 acres you know you, you might want to space that you know at 10 meters 12 meters you know so you can really cover the forest in a wider spectrum yeah you yeah that, that's pretty much it so it, it really comes down um, to designing how your system is going to work you know how much labor can you really put into pruning trees i, li I like to say that th there's this balance between um the density of trees that you have equals a higher rate of regeneration of soil of improvement of soil and ecosystem but at, at the same time it requires a lot more work mm -hmm. you could keep producing vegetables over and over and over even in a spacing as short as three meters but you'd have to really be pruning two three times a year four times a year in able to in order to be able to Keep do that. that sunlight whereas if you put them apart then you, you you don't have to prune it that often but like he said um you don't produce as much organic material you don't have as many live roots underneath the mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. so your system doesn't pump as much so it's really a balance you have to to see what works for you there's no recipe right like we said That's many right. times um so we really can try it out and felipe uh, another thing uh, in regards to this people really gotta let go when you gotta prune you know we, we're not gonna be oh but this banana i love it but it hasn't you know and you really gotta let go you really gotta understand that as you prune you know, you're going to promote more life, that's more material, and then the next banana is going to be better than this one. So you're really going to be like, oh, my avocado, but it's so beautiful, and, but really I wanted to, you know, if you want to produce the veg, maybe that's going to pay more. You know, the avocado can be patient, the citrus can be patient, they can wait an extra year sometimes, you know. Exactly. So you really got to let go. Yeah, it, it's a, agroforestry is a system of abundance, and abundance means choice. You have to choose. And when you choose, you let go of something. So that, that's, there's no question. You really have to remember that trees are not museums. I always like to say that. Yeah, trees yeah, yeah, are yeah. not museums. They're, they're meant to be worked with and you can prune them and they come back. Okay, yeah. it's not bad. You can take them down and they come back stronger than before and your system pumps even more. Yeah, it's beautiful in your garden, that, that big tree. But you know, if, it, if it's time to, for pruning, it's time for pruning. Yeah. When you have, if you have to prune it, you have to prune it. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is that we, we showed you four um, main crops, right? F four different systems for four different main crops. Vegetables, grass, fruits, and coffee. Not necessarily in this order, um, but anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot more. There's a lot more that you can do in an agroforestry system. Basically, anything you can produce in a farm, you can produce inside an agroforestry system. So you could have um, systems for cows, for chicken, like I do. Um, you can have system for grain production. You could have system um, focused completely on wood production. You could have system pr uh, focused on, on producing heart of palms, like we have um, mm -hmm. a lot here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And w whatever you please, you, you can do that. And a consortium of all of those as well. 
you can of, have uh, of varieties course. of animals uh, benefiting from the same agroforestry and you can have uh, you know the animals that the cows and the horses coming in at different times if you really want to speed things up you can protect the, the rows the beds of trees with electric shock wires and then you know the cows can come in already from the first year or you can wait until it's a more mature system without the wires without, without the shock so and then you can let the, the the cows come in and graze you can have a system where the the horses come in eat what horses eat they you know leave and then the cows come in and then the chickens come in so you really you can play with that quite a lot exactly there's there's so much to be done so much to be experienced um i, I think that everyone who starts working like with agro first you really should try to have this um mindset of experiencing and trying things out and doing things in different manners so that because because it's it's really a research that everyone should be doing because we're really building something new you know and With all the trial and error because uh, exactly. our soil might be different to yours of so course. i mean we tend to plant what we know is going to go right and we tend to plant with that what we would like to go right and uh, we, we give it a chance to see if it works within the system exactly and we, and we really encourage that you know don't don't think that just because it's said that something doesn't work well in your region you, you're not going to try that if you want to just oh, yeah. try it out we we really have to have to to experiment we're always challenging the laws of what people say you know oh but tomatoes don't come well in the rain well it does here because you know it's got it's got that it's got the balance you know lettuce we can produce lettuce in the rain here and in the market it's a big difference for us exactly where, you know the people with it with, when they do if you don't have the trees the wind is a lot more aggressive you know the, the, the rain is more yeah. aggressive and that breaks it down yeah we really put to trial all those myths that, that people see about agriculture and about specific um, cultures we really put them to trial and um, and it, it's also interesting to when, when we think of the variety that uh, agroforestry allows um, not only I said that Besides the four system we mentioned, there are many others, but inside each system, you can do them so differently one from the other. You know, if, if you're planting coffee, you could have it shaded by cashew and eucalyptus, or you could have it shaded by avocado, or you could have it shaded by mango trees, or you could have it shaded by pecan nuts. You, could, you can do s such a variety of, of, of stuff. You really, th there's no limit to it. That's it. So, so let's talk about it. Let's go to, you know, let's talk about it. Let, 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 let's, let's move with the Facebook group with our tribe there. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss it in the webinar with the questions Definitely. as well, direct to us. Make sure you write down a bunch of questions. We're very, very eager. Um, help us make this better. You know, help us bring more content to you. And we need your feedback to do that. Um, so we're really, really eager to see you in the next webinar. And we'll see you there, huh? All right. Sign out. Cheers. Ooh.